Humans are currently experiencing a biodiversity crisis. We have lost many species and many more are threatened. We need to address this crisis because biodiversity is essential to human well-being. We rely on the services provided by nature. For example, pollination is both more effective and more stable if many bee species visit different crops. Pharmaceuticals are derived largely from natural products. And finally, we feel great joy when we walk through a meadow full of wildflowers. Aquatic and terrestrial ecosystems and the biodiversity therein have often been studied in isolation. For example, scientists looked at streams or forests, but individually. However, we know that these ecosystems are coupled and that there is flows of resources and energy, but also organisms moving between the aquatic and terrestrial um, ecosystems. A typical example is leaf litter that is falling from forests into the streams and is an important resource for aquatic food webs affecting microbes, invertebrates and fish. In the Blue-Green Biodiversity Research Initiative, we want to study aquatic and terrestrial biodiversity in an integrated manner. Terrestrial ecologists from VSL and aquatic ecologists from AIRVAG have teamed up to find solutions for managing connections between terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems. In 2020, we started 13 research projects with postdocs from around the world. Hello, I am Shamolina Ghosh. Friederike Gebert. Luisa Hadzijskeras. Me chamo Julia. Agnieszka Sendek. My name is Ian McFadden. I'm fascinated by biodiversity, whether it's tropical rainforests, the Swiss Alps, or the global diversity of all birds. I am intrigued by the pattern found in nature, be it in space or in time. Badam, jak gatunki inwazyjne wnikają do ekosystemów lądowych i wodnych. Die Vielfalt an Insekten nimmt in vielen Ländern leider immer weiter ab. Ich untersuche, wie die Biodiversität der Insekten in der Schweiz sich in den letzten 20 Jahren entwickelt hat. I am analyzing long-term ecosystem research data on a global scale. Do we find generalized pattern of synchrony through time in terrestrial or aquatic realm? Or the patterns are more asynchronous in nature? I'm trying to understand a major imbalance in diversity. Most of the earth is water, but most species are found on land. Why is that? Sto studiando la connettività degli ecosistemi in zone urbane e periurbane. Eu estou reconstruindo a história evolutiva da biodiversidade alpina nos últimos milhares ou milhões de anos. Mam nadzieję, że moje badania sprawią, że lepiej zrozumiemy bioróżnorodność i będziemy w stanie zaadresować problem jej utraty. The initiative is an exciting opportunity to join forces at AIRVAG and WSL. Together we want to find solutions to the pressing challenges caused by global biodiversity loss. In the first year of the initiative on blue-green biodiversity, we are focusing on existing data. We are studying the interconnections between aquatic and terrestrial ecosystems to learn more about how humans are influencing these interconnections and to develop management recommendations. The loss of biodiversity has reached levels that are affecting the well-being of humans. We thus need to urgently bend the curve of biodiversity loss. To do so, we will also align our research to provide implementable output. And this will require a close discussion between scientists, society and stakeholders. 